So I had a, an interesting thought. Um, you'll see from the graphics here, it's mainly just going to be me talking. There's a picture on the screen, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but it was this film in particular that inspired me to record this. And, you know, all I do is ever screencast and talk about Unix and retro computing and stuff. But I figured I'd share some of my media recommendations. Um, I spend a lot of time streaming movies, TV, reading, obviously, who doesn't? Um, but what I found recently on Amazon is that they now had one of my favorite films. So Amazon Prime Streaming. Uh, and this is a film I cannot recommend highly enough. It's Pursuit of the Graphs Bay, alternate title, Battle of the River Plate. It is probably one of my top five war movies of all, war movies of all time. Uh, it's naval action, uh, First World War, uh, sorry, Second World War. Say like first n big naval battle of the Second World War, uh, and this is kind of the story. Some dramatization, liberties taken, um, but it's my recommendation for the first of these uh, kind of recommendation segments. Kind of a brief little little thing, but. The amount of streamable content now on between Netflix, Amazon, other providers is impressive. And the things like this are coming up is absolutely fantastic. I first saw this broadcast, I think, on PBS way back when, and it still holds up. Is it compared to a modern movie? No, but in many ways it's better. Um, there doesn't necessarily need to be things like a, you know, a love interest or anything like that. It's, it's a war movie, uh, the way they should be done. Um, so the probably the closest thing I could compare it to would be, in some ways, Battle of Britain, uh, if you've ever seen that, uh, just in terms of the, hey, it's early World War II and British film. Obviously, it's a, you know, there's kind of a bit of uh, propagandism going on here. It was filmed in the, it was you know, released in the 50s, mid-50s, uh, but cannot recommend it highly enough. Great story. Um reasonably historically accurate, right, which you don't get a whole lot uh, in in war movies especially. So that is my first media recommendation. Um, if you check it out, hope you enjoy it.